friends of Vinyl Community, it's Brian from Brian's Vinyl Records. And it's time for my November album haul. Lots of cool stuff. Of course, we had Record Store Day. I'll get to that. And then lots of Christmas music has come in. And then there were a couple sales that I took advantage of. So let's get right into it. We'll start with Record Store Day. So Record Store Day, Black Friday. Uh, I was super pumped about this year's list. It had a ton of great hair metal stuff on there that I was super excited about. Plus, albums from some of my favorite artists, Blackberry Smoke, Jason Isbell, to name a couple. Um, and I was super excited about this one. Um, a couple of the titles got removed from the list last minute, which was uh, kind of disheartening, but either way, I was still excited. And then COVID hit. That's right, I had COVID. Uh, avoided it for almost two years and hadn't done it. I work from home. I don't interact with a lot of people. It's kind of crazy that I'm the one who ended up getting it. Don't know how I got it. I'm not sure if maybe one of my kids brought it home and they're asymptomatic. Not sure. Everyone in the house is vaccinated. Um, you know, I. it's weird. But either way, I got hit with COVID and my quarantine wasn't up until Saturday. So that meant I wasn't able to go out and hang out like I normally do on record store days, which was really a bummer for me. I talked to a bunch of friends. I got a couple people looking out for me and I ended up getting everything that I wanted that was left on the list. And I'm super excited about it. So let's go through what I ended up getting for Record Store Day Black Friday. And we'll start here with this one. This is Smith Cotson. If you don't know, Adrian Smith of Iron Maiden right here, teamed up with Richie Cotson, who was in Mr. Big as well as Poison and was a shrapnel guitarist starting out and has been really all over the place. Phenomenal singer songwriter, great guitar player. Uh, Winery Dogs is one of his latest projects with Billy Sheehan, and uh, just awesome. They put out an album last year or this past year, and it was absolutely fantastic. And for Record Store Day, they put out a four song EP right here called Better Days EP, and it is great, absolutely fantastic. Love it. These guys are awesome together. Um, you know, who knew Adrian can sing so well, but he can, and of course, Richie has an awesome voice. And just a great duo and glad they put this out so this was high on my want list and i was able to get a copy of it so super excited about it smith cotson is record store day number one number two really wanted this one here this is jason isbell's georgia blue uh this is a covers album of all georgia artists and georgia themed songs uh it has a lot of uh guest appearances on there so uh wasn't exactly what i was expecting a lot of uh guest vocalists uh, Brittany Spencer, of course, Amanda Shires is on here. Uh, Adia Victoria is on here. Brandy Carlisle, Julian Baker. Um, so a lot of people on here uh, other than Jason Isbell singing. That said, it's still a really, really well done, good covers album. So super excited to pick this up. This one comes on a really pretty translucent uh, blue vinyl, of course, to go with the Georgia blue theme. And uh, a great, great album from Jason Isbell and the 400 unit. Uh, very cool. This one was what I wanted the most on the list of all the albums that were out there, and that is Blackberry Smoke's Stoned. This is a tribute to the Rolling Stones. They got together and recorded direct to acetate uh, live covers of Rolling Stones songs. Uh, there are seven songs on here. Now this one comes on a really cool Blackberry with Smoke uh, vinyl. I don't know if you've heard or not, but this one has issues. Side one is cut off center, it appears, and causes warbling and uh, causes the tone arm to sway back and forth. And of course that distorts the music and then also slows down a lot of times the music. So unfortunately side one or side A is pretty bad. Side B is phenomenal. It is perfect. It's cut exactly right and it sounds amazing. Um, the band has addressed it. They are working with the distributor and the manufacturer to try and solve the problem. So we'll see how that goes. It's gonna take a while because of the backup and everything else, but at least they're addressing it. So super excited about that. Really good covers album. They did a phenomenal job. Like I said, live one take, direct to acetate to produce this. Um, not sure what happened in the pressing plant. The test presses apparently were perfect and uh, something happened with the pressing. And I'm not sure if every copy of this is affected, but I have seen mostly people talking about how side A on 
cheaper turntable skips because of it and on uh, other ones you get some pops clicks and of course the tone arm just weighing back and forth a really good album from blackberry smoke really excited about it but uh, hopefully they can solve it quicker than uh, not and get us a new copy of this sent out great stuff though all right up next now as i mentioned this record store day had a bunch of like 80s 90s hair bands albums getting reissued and I was super pumped about that. Now a couple of them got canceled unfortunately um, or delayed at least uh, so it left two on the list that I really wanted and I was okay with not getting them this year the really the ones I just showed you were the three that I just absolutely wanted to have uh, these would have been nice to have. So fortunately for me I was able to get them both and super excited about that. The first one is Saigon Kicks the Lizard album. This is known for the song Love Is On The Way. It's a really good, really good album. And I was super excited to see this on the list. I have this only on cassette tape actually. And so it's nice to finally get a copy of it on vinyl. So this was issued on a really cool green and yellow and black kind of splatter or swirl vinyl. Uh, this is one that could have benefited from being a double disc set because you know everything is cut a little low but it sounds excellent and when you turn it up i think it sounds really good so i was super excited about this and super happy to have it um just wish it would have been on two instead of one uh, album and last but not least this is the one i'm really excited about this is mr big's lean into it uh phenomenal album of course to be with you the big hit off of this one and so I was super excited to see this on the list because an original of this goes for some pretty big dough. So when I saw they were going to put this out, originally it was coming out um, in the original drop of, of Record Store Day in April. And then it got pushed out. And instead of doing what they were originally going to do, which was only like, I think it was limited to like 2,000 copies or 1,500 copies or something really ridiculously low, they upped it to uh, 5,000 copies. Everything is numbered and uh, super pumped to get this. So it made an album that was gonna be really hard to get, uh, much easier to get. In fact, I see a lot of these still available from a lot of local record stores. So if you didn't get one, check with your local record store to see if they still have one in stock. This again, same issue, um, cool red vinyl. Cut a little low volume wise, turn it up, it sounds really, really good. Um, so not too sad, but I wish they would have taken the time to make it a double album. Of course it would have cost more, but uh, it would have sounded a little better. Still, sounds great if you turn it up a little and uh, that's all you really need to do. So great album, awesome to have it finally in my collection. All right, let's get to everything else now. Um, <clears throat> I can't recall if I've shown this already. If I did, I apologize. Um, but so we'll start with some Christmas tunes and we'll start with Nora Jones. I think this may have been in my video from last month. Uh, but it is I Dream of Christmas, Nora Jones' Christmas album. I'm um, excited to have this in my collection. I love her voice. Uh, I don't listen to a lot of jazz. It's really not my thing. But between her, more jazz pop, but between her and Melody Gardot, uh, I really enjoy that kind of soft jazz type style. So excited to hear this. Um, up next, another couple Christmas albums here. Uh, we'll start with... Martina McBride, White Christmas. Uh, this is an album that we listen to a lot over Christmas. I have it on CD currently and was super excited to see that they put it out on vinyl, picked it up, um, super happy to have it. Love Martina McBride's voice. And this is just a really good, good collection of Christmas songs and she does a phenomenal job. So excited to have this added to my Christmas collection. Billy Idol, Happy Holidays. Now, when I saw this, I thought, okay, this is gonna be a rockin', punk rock type Christmas album, but it's not. It's Billy Idol singing pretty close to traditional on most of the songs, and they're great. Uh, Billy Idol doesn't have, I'll say, the greatest voice in the world, but it works, and I really enjoyed listening to Billy Idol, and so hearing him sing all these Christmas songs was really fun. So if you uh, haven't, check this one out. It's it's really well done and I think it, it's awesome. Uh, so it comes on a white vinyl. White vinyl, uh, sorry. Oop. 
like so. And again, like I said, it's just super well done and I really enjoyed it. And check out the song list, right? Frosty the Snowman, Silver Bells, White Christmas, Here Comes Santa Claus. I mean, just awesome. So probably my favorite find so far holiday music wise for this year is this one. Also Christmas music, I picked up the Jackson 5's Christmas album. Uh, this was at one of my local record stores and I just couldn't pass it up. This is one I've been wanting for quite some time. I just never pulled the trigger on. Of course, uh, the song everybody knows from this one is Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Um, but they do all sorts of great stuff. Frosty the Snowman, the Christmas song, Up on the Housetop, Little Drummer Boy, Rudolph, the Red Nosed Reindeer. Um, just good stuff. So super excited to have this finally in my collection. This one I'm excited to hear. This is Steve Perry's The Season album. So Steve Perry, of course, the original vocalist of Journey, putting out a Christmas album. Just a phenomenal voice. So I am excited to give this a listen. I haven't uh, spun this one yet, but I will be shortly. And this one is a Target exclusive, so it of course comes on the red vinyl. I also picked up another Target exclusive copy of Trans-Siberian Orchestra's Christmas Eve and Other Stories. Um, love the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. I just absolutely love their song, uh, Christmas Eve, Sarajevo 1224. Just awesome. It's iconic. And so I saw this at Target and had to get it. Uh, of course, again, it's Target, so it comes on the red translucent vinyl. Super excited to have that in my list as well. Uh, I believe there's a little more Christmas here, but let's get to some other stuff too. Got this at Target as well. Um, saw it there a long time. Don't really know much of the White Stripes other than Seven Nation Army. Uh, so I decided to pick this up. This is their greatest hits. Um, it's okay. Um, it has some good stuff on here and it has some weird stuff on here. Of course, it's Jack White, so you're bound to get that. Black vinyl. Um, some of it sounds amazing and others sound almost like they're demos so i'm not sure i know a lot of people say jack white is a stickler for audio file uh, and this is pressed at his third man plan but some of the songs in here i guess just weren't able to be brought up to audio file status so it's decent um it does it make me a white stripes fan not sure not sure but you know i thought i'd give it a try this one I'm super excited about. This is the Crow Score Expanded Edition, or Deluxe Edition. So I have the score that was put out by Graham Rebel um, back in the day, and it is one of my favorite things to listen to, especially at night when I'm trying to go to bed. It's just got a really great vibe. It's from one of my favorite movies of all time. And so yeah, I was looking forward to it. Then they announced this. It's got 30 extra minutes of music on it. The cover is embossed. It's really, really cool. And they just did a phenomenal job on this one. And so super, super pumped. So I added it, I had to add it to my collection. It's just one of my favorite movies and I love the score and I love the soundtrack. And so I've got this now in my collection. Big thing from November, we had Taylor Swift putting out her Taylor's version of the album Red. This is fantastic. Um, she did an awesome job of re-recording all the songs in here. Plus, there's so much extra on here, so much extra from the vault stuff and songs that she gave to other people that she did her versions of. Uh, just fantastic. And of course, the capped with the 10 minute version of the song All Too Well, the original version of it. And it's just phenomenal. So she did a great job on this. This is the Target vinyl version. So of course it comes on the red vinyl. And um, I've gotten all of these from her recently on the Target exclusive version. So I just keep that going. Uh, they're all in the red and just really, really love this album. This is my favorite Taylor Swift album either way. And uh, this is a great version. She did an awesome job with it. Also that came out around the same day, I believe was Lana Del Rey's Blue Bannisters. This is also the Target exclusive version of the album with the alternate cover here. And of course it comes on the red vinyl. Uh, really good, uh, not as good I think as Chemtrails was, but still a different vibe on it and I really enjoyed it. So another great album from Lana Del Rey. 
I don't know if you heard, Walmart had their $15 vinyl sale. I went there and uh, didn't really expect to pick anything up, but I did pick up Carrie Underwood's Greatest Hits. I couldn't pass it up for the price. Uh, it comes on silver vinyl and uh, just an absolutely well done Greatest Hits album. And the pressing sounds fantastic. So super happy to have that in my collection as well. Another new release that I was super pumped about is Robert Plant and Alison Krauss. This is called uh, Raise the Roof. It's a follow-up to their first album, Raising Sand, and it's uh, just absolutely great. This, again, is the Target exclusive on Black Vinyl, but it has two extra songs on it, so that's why I wanted this version. Uh, really, really good. Really good. Very chill, um, and they do, they just work so well together. So, highly recommend this. If you don't have their first album, Raising Sand, Absolutely recommend that as well. Phenomenal. So knocked out of the park on this one as well. All right. Uh, Amazon had their buy three for two sale going on once again. And I had to take it up on it and uh, pick up a couple things. This one is mostly for my son, who is a huge fan of the TV show Parks and Recs. This is Mouse Rat, the awesome album. Of course, if you don't know Parks and Recs, uh, Mouse Rat is the band of... Andy, who is played by Chris Pratt on the TV show. And so, unfortunately, they didn't have Chris Pat, P Pratt participate in the making of the song, which I think is kind of sad. It would have been a lot cooler if he were to come back and redo the vocals for that. They had someone else do vocals for the songs. But that said, they're still really great. Um, uh, well done. Side A is my favorite. It's got mostly the songs that were from the TV show for the band Mouse Rat. Side B has a lot of covers on it which is fine, uh, not bad, but um, I definitely prefer side A over side B. Uh, fun listen, if you like the show, uh, this is a must have, just fantastically done. All right, as part of the two for three, I picked up Kenny Rogers, 21 number ones. So I like Kenny's music, um, a big fan of his greatest hits. The Gambler, of course, is a staple. I have that on a MoFi pressing. And I have a few other scattered albums that um, I don't really listen to often, but I do love some of the songs in here. So I decided this would be perfect because it's got all of his best songs on it. And that was the best way to go in my opinion for if I want to hear the gambler sing, boom, I can just throw this on and enjoy all the hits from uh, Kenny Rogers. And the third album I got from that sale was ACDC's Flick of the Switch. Um, if you don't know, I have been trying to get a original mix and a 2003 remix remaster of each album. There are a handful I have left to get. This was one of them that I needed the 2003 remaster of. And so to add it to my cart for basically free, I went ahead and did that. It's a great album. Back to that raw sound that they had after two albums with Mutt Lane. Really enjoy this album. So happy to have the 2003 mix of the album now in my collection. I also then picked up this. This was not part of the sale, but I had to have this. This is Kingfish, Chris Kingfish. Uh, Ingram, just an absolutely phenomenal blues guitar player. Great vocals, uh, so good, just so good. This album is called 662, and it's his follow-up to his debut. Um, I haven't listened to it yet. I'm super excited to crack the seal on it and give it a spin. Uh, I've heard nothing but good things about this album, so super pumped to listen to that. And last but not least, for the month of November, I decided on a whim to pick this up. I do not have any of her albums, but I do like her vocals. I love the fact that she's a singer-songwriter, and she's mostly a Christian uh, artist, so this is real fun. This is uh, Tori Kelly's A Christmas, uh, what is it, uh, Tori, a Tori Kelly Christmas uh, album. It was only $18 at Target. Uh, we saw it there, had to pick it up, and it's got my wife's favorite Christmas song on here, which you just don't see people do anymore, Sleigh Ride. So super excited to give this a spin as well during the holiday season, because why not? So Tori Kelly, a Tori Kelly Christmas. That wraps up my November haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a safe and happy holiday as we go through the holiday season. I hope Thanksgiving was great for y'all. It was uh, way different for us this year, but that's how it goes. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. 
leave a comment below love interacting with the vc and of course if you're new to the channel thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did give us a like give us a subscription love to have you along for the ride so hey until next time keep spinning vital friends